AMD seems to have a surplus stock of poor Xbox Series X and Series S chips, which weren't feasible for the consoles that have now ended up as the 4700S APU for the DIY segment. Now the AMD 4700S is a Zen 2 based chip that is being sold as a complete unit with its motherboard and memory in the Asian markets and features specifications quite similar to the current gen Xbox consoles, which makes it one interesting product. Now listed over at Tmall by a third party seller, the AMD 4700S is being sold as a complete unit within a micro ATX gaming PC. Now the retailer has listed the price of $4599 to $5599 Chinese yuan, which converts to around $700 to $800 US, which is a pretty hefty price tag, but it does make some sense considering the specifications of the PC, not just the chip, but the PSU, the case, and storage, as well as an external discrete dedicated graphics card. Chinese retailers were also the first to offer the original Xbox One SoC on a DIY unit last year, and I even bought one of those for some ungodly reason as it sits on a shelf in my closet now, but it's kind of cool to have. So looking at the specifications itself, we first have the AMD 4700S, which is an 8-core and 16-thread chip based on the Zen 2 core architecture. Now the CPU clocks up to 4 gigahertz and features a 12 megabyte pool of cash. Now do note the frequency alone puts the chip faster than the APU on the Xbox Series X, which clocks up to 3.8 gigahertz. On the other side, this chip has the entire iGPU disabled, which is the whole reason the chip ended up like this in the PCID, PC DIY segment to begin with. Now the Xbox Series X makes full use of a custom RDNA 2 GPU with 12 teraflops of compute power, 52 compute units running at 1.82 gigahertz. It's fed by 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Now here's the interesting part. The AMD Cardinal motherboard being used to house the AMD 4700S chip does retain the 16 gigabytes of onboard G6 memory. Now this means that there are no standard DIMM slots on the motherboard and that the system memory is fused directly to the motherboard. Now this motherboard has a standard spiral aluminum fin heatsink and the PCH is also covered by a heatsink. Now the motherboard however is not identical to the Xbox Series X design and does feature some changes. The most prominent are the PCIe slot and the I.O. Since the iGPU are is disabled on the chip, you are required to use a dedicated graphics card. For this purpose, the DIY builder of the AMD 4700S PC equipped with Radeon RX 550 graphics card, which is a quite old Polaris based option that doesn't require any external power source. Now power is also important for this PC as it houses a 200 watt PSU and GPU up upgrade options which are going to be quite limited. Now other specifications do include a 500 gigabyte SSD and a hard drive with up to 5 terabytes of capacity support while IO ports include 4 USB 2, 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2, 1 USB 3.2 Gen 1, gigabit LAN and a 3 channel audio jack. Now the casing itself is pretty cool, featuring a mini ITX design with two fans on the top and rear to blow air out of the case. You can also see some performance numbers where the AMD 4700S is being compared to the Intel Core i7-9750H 6-core mobility as well as the Ryzen 7 4750G CPUs. Overall this is a very decent chip, but availability will only be limited to China for now, but that didn't stop me from hunting one down before. Alright guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this particular video, and if you enjoyed what you've seen and you got anything out of it, make sure you stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button, and if you missed a previous video, maybe check that out over there.